Okay, so hopefully just a quick one here. Somebody was trying to uh, engrave this image and then cut it out. And so she doesn't have Glowforge Premium, so she was not sure how to do it. So uh, just a quick video to show you how I would do that. Um, she's also said that she does not need these. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna image trace. Uh, where that's at is in, I'm using Illustrator. You're gonna go to Window, turn on Image Trace. Um, learn how to, your alphabet there, okay. So I'm gonna image trace this and I'm going to ignore white. I don't need the white. I'm gonna preview it and see what our trace looks like. And our trace looks pretty good actually. Um, if you needed to at this point for details and stuff, um, you could change your threshold. Takes a second when you do that to update. Uh, I got a little bit more beard there, it looks like. So I'm um, kind of liking that. I'm gonna go about 200. Um, paths, that's just the complexity. If you have very little paths, you're gonna have very polygonal kind of a thing. Um, I like to, I usually, for most of my traces, I'll put paths way up here near 100, and I'll put noise way down here at like one or two. Um, that generally makes a really clean image. So when you're done, um, the trick is to go up to object, to image pa uh, trace, and to expand. Boom, now we've got all of these paths, and, um, it's one file, but it's, you know, as you can see out here, this is my image, not this white, right? Um, so now she has said that she doesn't need uh, all of the halos. So I'm going to select. I'm just gonna grab a couple, double tap delete on each one that I have some of the parts of the halo on. I mean, if you just got one, tap, 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 right? So I'm just gonna, Delete the halo. Then I'm gonna select and make sure there's no stragglers up there. Okay, we got everything. So um, there's two things you could do right now. First of all, I'm gonna save this image out. Um, no image size was mentioned, but you can resize in the Glowforge app, no problem. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make your outline two different ways that I use. Um, so the first one we're just sending to export the selection. Now you could save as, so I'll, I'll teach you everything here. So um, I'm going to export the selection and I'm gonna say Jesus Halo. Uh, and I always export as PDF um, because PDF will retain whatever the sizing is. Um, especially important if you're using slots, you know, slots and tabs that you, that you want that. So I'm gonna throw it in this folder here. Boom, I've exported our PDF. Next, I'm going to show you how to save as, and if you wanted that as an SVG, um, you could totally do that. The trick there is to, when you hit save, uh, it's called St. Judas Thaddeus, okay. Um, to go in here, do more options and uncheck responsive. That will also keep the sizing that you have. Uh, so now we have it in two ways. And now, um, first I'm going to make our outline. And I'm gonna go um, copy, paste, right? So I have another one. I'm going to object, compound mask, release. And then I'm gonna go over here to our pathfinder. And I'm gonna unite. Um, looks like we're gonna to have to do a little bit of work up here with the halo. Um, this, all of this up here is not connected to the body. Um, actually, we don't have to worry about that 
because this is not a cut. This is just a trace, uh, an engrave. So never mind about that for the moment. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to invert this and I'm gonna set this as a outline. My color palette is weird, let's fix that. All right, so now we got our red. Um, I'm going to tweak this a little bit. So this is, because of the halo, um, this tutorial is getting a little bit more advanced, um, which is fine. If we didn't have the halo to worry about, it would not be such a big deal. So I've grabbed both of these points here and I'm just going to extend them onto there because we don't want them to cut out. So I'm holding shift as I grab both of those and I'm just extending them to touch the body here. All right. Um, we actually, because it's uh, just an outline, we don't need this. Delete, delete. Um, let's see if we can delete, delete that. Delete, delete that. And we technically don't even need this. So let me, let me see if I can do our compound path again and actually get rid of that detail inside. So, object, gonna make a compound path, gonna release our compound path. Let me weld that together. All right, so you see how the, um, the halo welded in? I need to weld this side of the halo in. See if it will. Nope. Let me grab. Eh. Okay. So this is becoming a little bit more involved than I hoped. We're gonna draw these two lines. I'm going to divide. Divide. And divide that as well. We're going to ungroup. And now his head Let's see what we ended up with here. <laughs> we divided his head, but we still have his head. Um, what I'm trying to do here is I do not want to cut out this halo section. So, I need that to be divided. Let's do it in two steps. So, one cut. I guess I need that blue or something. All right. We're going to divide. We're going to ungroup. You know what? <laughs> I'm making that totally difficult. Boom. <laughs> right? Okay. That looks kind of weird, huh? All right, so we have our outline and we have this one and I'm just going to use my align tools. I'm going to align horizontal, align vertical. And now we have Everything black will be engraved, everything white will be ignored, and the red will be cut out. So, I'm going to save this one. Oops. 
That's a good habit to get into. You see how we have this up here hanging out? So I'm just going to select that. That can be a cut. Uh, and you, people will say, why is it cutting twice? Um, it's a good practice to get into to grab your design and move it. And then see if there's anything left on the bed. Um, or even, oops, work from out here in the gray space so that you can see stuff that's struggling around. All right. So I'm going to export this one. Uh, we're going to stick with, with SVG again. So file, save as. Um, I'm going to do engrave and cut. SVG. We're going to not have responsive. And then if we go over to our Glowforge UI, I'm gonna show you something. Where did I open that? Here we are. All right, so I'm going to upload that image. Um, and let's go to the newest. All right, so here is our original SVG. Uh, that was just an image trace, and we didn't do the outline for. So uh, a cool thing is if you have Glowforge Premium, um, you can add an outline, which is about one of the only things I do with Glowforge Premium besides making my snowflakes to, uh, to make my test cuts. So as soon as it loads up in here, if it ever loads up in here. There it is. All right, so um, there's just one item here, right? So we're gonna say that that's gonna be an engrave. Um, boom. Uh, but how are we gonna cut that out? So I don't think this is a pro feature. I'm going to group that. All right, now I'm going to add a outline. Your outline can account for this little break in the halo there, right? So right now, I, it, it defaults to a quarter inch outline. And then I come in here and say zero, zero. Unfortunately, you have to let it make the quarter inch outline before you can change that. Um, it kind of sucks. I'd like to be able to make um, just one outline because sometimes it takes a minute to make the outline. So as you can see right now, it's going to cut and our, our halo and stuff is not going to be part of, uh, part of our file. Um, so we're gonna change the outline to try to make it just a little bit bigger. So it will connect. All right. So that worked, but that's too much. How about 0.05? Uh, the other option you could do is when I was in Illustrator, um, connect that like I did earlier, because we're only dealing with the outer outline. We don't care about what happens to this part here, only what happens to this, this one right here. So that works. It's a little bit much. So I'm turn it down just a little bit. Not my file, so I don't know exactly what she's going for. Um, and we got a little bit of extra, so... Looks like we're gonna have to be at four or five on this file uh, using the Glowforge premium outline tool. Holy moly, what I do. Decimals matter. Uh, okay, so that works. So the order of things, you would do your, your engrave, then you would do your cut and I don't know what material she's on. Let's say it was whiteboard. I do 160 full. Auto focus. I would set my focus. And then we cut. So then we also have the one I prepared in Illustrator. And I'll go ahead and load that one in as well. Um, 
which did not load because I was not on my work surface. So you do not need to be on your work surface when you export selection because you're exporting the selection. Uh, oh, it did. It was just out of, out of reach. Um, but sometimes it helps to be on the work surface when you're saving as PDF or something. But here he is. Again, we've got two things. So we've got our engrave layer and we've got our cut layer. And what I don't see that we have is, I don't see that we've got a, well, you just can't see it. In our preview that we see that we do have the whole red, it just was faint. So um, either way works. Uh, this ran a little bit longer than I was hoping but uh, hopefully you learned something about the outline tool and about how to make your own outlines. Uh, so thanks for watching. This is Terry at Lithos and Lasers.